Today on Gardening with Greg, we're talking summer squash. One of the first things that comes in in the spring garden is summer squash. Man, do I love them. I planted these about 55, 60 days ago, and now they're coming in good. So I'm gonna have squash everywhere. The two varieties I planted this year is Gold Prize and Golden Delight. These gold prize squash or yellow straight necks, man, they have some good flavor to them. They're hybrids and they're really productive. If we're gonna do stew squash, where we cut them up and mix them up with some of them good onions and put them in a cast iron frying pan, these are the ones we like to use. Also, they got a great flavor raw. So if you're eating a raw squash, you like to dip them in that ranch dressing, this is the variety for you. These golden delight zucchinis are yellow. Most of the ones you've always seen are green, but I like growing something a little bit different. And this is one of my favorite varieties of zucchini to grow. Of course it's yellow, but the fruit is always pretty consistent and these make great frying squash. It's a hybrid and there again, they're really productive. So you can slice them up and all your slices are, are pretty much the same and they're easy to get up and slice up and put in that frying pan and fry you up some good squash. Bees and pollination are really important growing summer squash and being successful at it. Now the squash plant has two different blooms on there. It has the male bloom and it has the female bloom. The male bloom normally grows up higher and it doesn't produce any fruit. The female bloom is the one that produces the fruit. Now when the bee comes to the squash plant, he goes to the male flower first and does his business and gathers his pollen then he goes to the female flower, and that's where your fruit comes from. So the bees have done their job, and I got a nice squash there, and you can see where the bloom is falling off. Now, if I didn't have any pollination, that fruit would be misshapen, or it wouldn't set fruit at all. So I know I got good pollination there because I had plenty of bees, and I got a nice squash. Now, this is the size right here that I like to harvest them at because they're nice and tender, and they make some good stew at that point. We got us a bucket full of squash and we're gonna go inside and fry us up some of these golden delights. Now I like to use a good peanut oil when I'm frying my squash. Now take you a small paring knife, cut them ends off and go to slice. What I got here is just regular old plain flour, but I'm gonna put some seasoning on it and this is a pretty simple recipe. Now I like to use me some cavenders, so I'm going to dust them down good with some cavenders. A little garlic salt. And a little simple black pepper. Then I'm going to run them through the flour. Got to put a little more cavenders in there. Mix them up good in that flour and get them dusted well, and we about ready for some grease. Put your little pinch of flour in there when it dances around, you know you're ready. Do some cooking. They turn it brown and starting to float. It ain't gonna be long now. After you let them drain on the paper towel a little bit, it's time to put that ranch dressing on there. Woo! And then you find your big old shade tree where everybody will leave you alone. You get your big old glass of ice water. 
you run them through some of that ranch dressing. Mm. That's good. If you'd like to have some of these fine fried squash, there'll be a link below where you can get those squash seeds. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next week on Gardening with Greg.